really growing. We're seeing a lot more OT and pre-PT majors here at Casper College, and I'm sure they are statewide as well. So enjoy your college experience. Chances are if you do your homework and analyze all your options carefully, you'll make the right choice. Greg Fitzgerald, K2 News. Now, if you or someone you know is having trouble figuring out what area of study is the best fit, remember that most colleges have career counselors who are there to help. The Casper team will represent Wyoming at the 19th Boy Scouts World Jamboree in Santiago, Chile later this year. Eagle Scout Brandon Wagner was selected as the winner of a full scholarship from the Wyoming Elks Association to attend the Jamboree. Wagner, who's been involved in scouting for nine years now, says he's very excited to get this opportunity and is looking forward to the trip. I wanted to go to a Jamboree ever since I was, ever since I was young and I wanted to go to Chile. I've done a few reports on it in school. And it was really expensive and finally I saw a scholarship application and just there's a shot, go for it. Wagner also says if it weren't for the scholarship, he wouldn't be able to attend. The World Jamboree will run from December 27th to January 6th, 1999. All right, we still have a lot more to come tonight after this short break. Mm -hmm, that's right, including the Wyoming Game and Fish Commission's controversial plan to trade access for hunting licenses. It's a good idea? Well, watch the report and decide for yourself. And in sports, the Rockies take on the Reds. Nathan Scott will have those highlights and all the scores you can handle. It's news worth watching. We're back in a moment. Can you do Mac? Of course. Watch. This April, the dragons will roar. The princess will be saved. And the magic... You tricked me, Marlin. I'm a wizard. That's my business. The television event of the year. Merlin, NBC April. <laughs> Who's ready to come up? Beatty. Call him up. Choose the wrong wireless service? No answer. Who's next? Pingo. Call him up. With AirTouch, you get coverage you can count on. Pingle. Who knows? It could change your life. AirTouch. Sign up with AirTouch and get a free AudioVox phone and car lighter adapter. You don't need to look far to find volunteerism in Wyoming. There are students and teachers. There are construction workers and grandparents and next-door neighbors. J.C. Penney, United Way, the Casper Star Tribune, and Wyoming's K2 Television want to recognize and honor these people. You can help. Nominate a volunteer to receive the J.C. Penney Golden Rule Award. To receive a nomination form, contact your nearest J.C. Penney store or United Way office. And to all our Wyoming volunteers, thank you. Welcome back, everyone. This past week, thousands of letters poured into the Wyoming Game and Fish Department. The reason? Well, protest over a controversial new program designed to allow greater access to sportsmen on public and private lands. And some people think that program will strip Wyoming residents of hunting licenses. Well, now John Campbell has the Game and Fish Department's take on the benefits of that pilot project. Private Lands Public Wildlife Conservation Program is designed to reverse years of decreasing access for fishing and hunting opportunities in Wyoming. Kosh Arha, the program's coordinator, has spent the last year working on a pilot program addressing public access issues. While focusing on the program's two main objectives, to maintain and enhance wildlife habitat on private lands, and to maintain and enhance public access on private lands, Arha has developed a wide array of incentives the Game and Fish Commission could legally and administratively administer by providing incentives to landowners to maintain wildlife on their private property and to provide public access to that wildlife, one may look into perhaps, if provided the right incentives, that the, that the landowner would be more considerate towards having more wildlife on his private property and perhaps allowing more access. And that is the objective of these incentives. The program has tremendous potential to benefit all concerned publics by meeting objectives through incentives. One incentive for qualifying landowners is the use of landowner-sponsored licenses. It is important to note that a landowner-sponsored license is 
a non-transferable license that is issued by the Game and Fish Department to an individual who is sponsored by a landowner that is participating in a private lands public wildlife conservation pilot project. I need to emphasize again that it is a non-transferable license. The Wyoming Private Lands Public Wildlife Conservation Program Initiative offers one of the most comprehensive attempts to address the issues of wildlife conservation on private property. This is John Campbell reporting for the Wyoming Game and Fish Department. Now the Game and Fish Commission will consider this topic in a public meeting that will be held April 27th in Casper. For more information, call 1-800-233-8544. Switching gears now to weather. Switching gears to weather. Although most of the state saw clear skies and warm temperatures today, great spring weather. Some areas should be preparing for a winter storm, if you can believe that. About six inches is expected tonight and tomorrow in the western and northern mountains. Plus, strong winds will cause areas of blowing snow and poor visibility if you're planning to travel for Easter. But right now, taking a look across the state, we're looking at fair conditions. Casper actually has a temperature of 70 degrees. That's way above normal for this time of year. Cheyenne, 71. Jackson, even 52 degrees and cloudy skies. When we come back, I'll have your Easter holiday forecast, so stay with us. Imagine sitting on the back of a ton of dynamite waiting to explode at the sound of a buzzer. <laughs> This ain't no mama's boy's picnic. The world's toughest bull riders on the world's meanest bulls. In three rounds of sudden death competition. Watch the champions try hanging on to a fire-breathing animal. Hell bent on stomping him into the ground. Bull riders only is coming. The wildest, roughest sport in America. The original championship bull riding series. Be there. <laughs> I should be able to go where I want, when I want. Because the last time I checked, there were no leash laws for humans. Air Touch. It could change your life. Don't miss Better Homes and Gardens, Sundays at 6.30 a.m. Brought to you in part by Meadow Acres Greenhouse. Right here on K2 Television, Wyoming's news leader. Monday, it's the first of four new episodes that will determine the fate of Caroline and Richard. Oh, no, I'm not getting caught in that crossfire. That's if Richard's father-in-law doesn't off him first. I think Mr. Mazzoni is trying to get rid of you. Stop following them around, Dad! We're going down to do something! All new Caroline, NBC Monday. I'm wildlife filmmaker Bill Grunkemeyer. Grunko Films presents Four Seasons in the Wild, a stunning video that's your seasonal guide to wildlife. Whether you're 3 or 93, you must know where and when to look during each season to better enjoy the adventure and the awesome events of nature. To order Four Seasons in the Wild, call 800-638-7779. $19.95 plus shipping. 800-638-7779. And as you can see by taking a look at our national satellite, most of the state, well, we have clear skies. But that's going to end because we have this system that's going to be moving through tomorrow. And here we go. Rain mixed with snow showers for tomorrow and Easter. I'm sorry to report that to you right now. Lows tonight, though, 30s, 40s in the east part of the state. Highs tomorrow are not going to be as warm as today. We're looking at 50s. And then again, 40s in the western part of the state. But taking a closer look at where you are, Casper is going to see winds between 20 and 30 miles per hour tonight. So watch out for those with a 60% chance of rain and thunder showers and a 52 degree high tomorrow. And that's going to continue through the evening. Those showers, there's a 50% chance there. In the southeast part of the state tomorrow, a 20 percent chance of rain with a high of 57 degrees tomorrow night a 40 percent chance with a low of 35 degrees moving to the north a bit these winds are kicking in between 15 and 30 miles per hour tonight and then again between 20 and 35 miles per hour tomorrow 50 percent chance of rain also on Easter Sunday moving into the northeast part of the state rain starting tonight
continuing through tomorrow night with southwest winds between 15 and 25 miles per hour tonight. Watch out for those. Also in the north central part of the state, 50% chance of rain tonight with a low of only 40 degrees. Tomorrow, a 70% chance of rain and a high of 47 degrees. Out west tonight, rain mixed with snow. There's a 70% chance there and also tomorrow snow again with a high of 40 degrees in the south west part of the state tomorrow snow and rain mixtures that's a 60 percent chance there with a high of 42 degrees in the south central part of the state a high of 43 degrees tomorrow a low of 25 degrees tomorrow night in the central part of the state tonight 40 percent chance of rain and thunderstorms and then tomorrow again rain and thunderstorms with a high of with a high of 48 degrees. Now let's take a look at your lows again tonight. Scattered showers across the state. Casper should see a low of about 38 degrees in cloudy skies. Cheyenne a low of 40 degrees. Jackson will see a low of 33 degrees and possible rain or snow showers. And tomorrow for Easter Sunday, mixed rain and snow showers with cooler temperatures than what we saw today, like I said before. Casper should expect a high of 52 degrees, Cheyenne 57, and up in Sheridan for also 47 degrees. All right. The Easter, mud, Easter bunny might get a little wet. That's right. Oh. That's right. I'm sorry to report that because we had such great weather today for most of the state. All right. Thanks a lot, Alice. You're welcome. Well, it is springtime, and you're getting that uncontrollable urge to dig around in your garden, aren't you? It's all right. But before you get out there, Ron Davis has a few tips for you. You know, the calendar says it's spring, and a lot of us get the urge to get out there in the garden and kind of get that ground tilled and do some earthy uh, manly things and there are a couple of precautions it's, it's a great way to spend a Saturday afternoon but many many times the gardeners get in just a little bit of a hurry and can get out there until uh, when the when the moisture really isn't quite right and you can see this this soil here looks pretty dry on the surface uh, but if we get down and, and, and get a hold of it and and kind of make a ball out of it you can see that and then if we kind of go to poking on it it's it's it just does not uh, fall apart and fracture and if we were to get a tiller in here right now all we're going to make is, is little mud balls. Now I've got some garden soil that I've, I've kind of fudged on and prepared here and a garden that's got uh, the right moisture level to till you can see that it will it will make a ball when we squeeze it uh, but when we kind of poke at it a little bit it will fall apart and